What's up, Eagles Nation? So, two sets of breaking news. Just as I was trying to uh, soak in the Ezekiel Elliott suspension, all that kind of stuff, I uh, get the notification that Ronald Darby, we, we, we traded for Ronald Darby, uh, but we gave up Jordan Matthews in a third round pick. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually really, I actually really like this trade, even though I really like Jordan Matthews. I'm one of the Eagles fans that actually really likes Jordan Matthews, but uh, I, uh, I did want to see him play with Alshon Jeffrey and be like the third, fourth option on the receiving core and see how he he would do. But at the same time, this Ronald Darby, uh, this Ronald Darby guy, he brings balance to our defense. He uh, brings balance throughout our roster now. We already have like a few receivers. I mean, we have Alshon Jeffrey, we have Torrey Smith. Um, the third or fourth receiver, I mean, it could be like Matt Collins, it could be whatever, like Nelson Aguilar could be like the fourth guy even, that doesn't really matter, I mean, um, like, and even if you look at it, if you look at it this way, like, if you look at it with the whole offense to factor in, really, like, that third receiver is really like, what, the fifth option or the sixth option on the whole entire offense, um, maybe the fourth option if it's like a Pro Bowl slot receiver, but Jordan Matthews is not a Pro Bowl slot receiver, I mean. He, uh, he has caught a lot of passes throughout the years. He has put up some production, but, uh, you know, he has he has also dropped the ball in really bad times, like really, really, really bad times, dropped the ball. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's good that we got a corner that's young, 23 years old, Ronald Darby, you know. Uh, he went to Florida State, first season in the NFL. He went off. He was snubbed for the Pro Bowl. And um, second season, you know, uh, quarterbacks didn't really want to throw his side as much, but they were still kind of going because Gilmore kind of scares quarterbacks too. But Gilmore, I, I, out of a lot of things I've been reading, you know, uh, Darby was starting to outplay Stephon Gilmore uh, the past two seasons. And this season, Ronald Darby on the Philadelphia Eagles is only going to be his third season. And so you add the fact that – look at the Bills' safeties and then look at the Eagles' safeties and then you add Darby with the Eagles' safeties – and then you add Mills, and then you have Sydney coming back. So we got th three guys right there that are young corners that are already better than Nolan Carroll and McKelvin, and they're younger than bo the, both of them. So, um, And then you just add Rizzo Douglas, who's growing. He still has a lot to learn. So, I mean, we have a lot of young guys. In the next, like, two to three years, we can have some mature corners that know the fuck what the fuck they're doing, that are able to just shut down people consistently, and they're able to know what's coming to them when they play NFC East opponents. This is the NFC East. It's not like any other division. So, corners coming to this division need to know what the fuck they're getting into. But anyways, I'm going to uh, actually um, look at this article right here, if I can get to it. Ronald Darby's stats right here. You know, he's had, only in two seasons, he's had 33 <clears throat> passes defended. Meaning that every time the quarterback throws to him, he breaks the pass up, pretty much. Or just causes an incomplete pass in some sort of way. And so, his rookie year, he had 21 passes defended. His, uh, his, uh, this year after that, he only had 12 passes defended. And you, you can't get too overwhelmed by that number just because quarterbacks are going to be watching that tape after his 2015 campaign. And they're going to be like, okay, we cannot go to this guy's side as more. He's really, he's a warrior at cornerback. He, he fights at cornerback. He, he's scrappy. He gets to the ball. So uh, quarterbacks probably didn't want to throw to him as much the year after that. Um, he was still like overtaking uh, Gilmore as the corner on their team. Maybe that's why they were comfortable with not re-signing him. Who knows? Maybe it was just money. But uh, it's kind of weird that they got rid of him too. Like on their side, honestly, it's worse that they got rid of him than we got Jordan Matthews because we already have a few receivers ahead of Jordan Matthews. They I don't even know who they have ahead of him at corner. So maybe now their corner spot's really fucked. I don't really know. I have to look at their roster, but. Uh, you look at some of these passes defended, looks like some of these stats that Ronald Darby put up compared to, I know the stats don't mean everything, but some of these stats that he put up against Nolan Carroll. Nolan Carroll, while he was a Philadelphia Eagle, he had 11 passes defended last year and 10 passes defended the year before. Ronald Darby had 21 passes defended in his rookie season, and Nolan Carroll had, which was only two years ago, and Nolan Carroll had 15 and 14 uh, passes defended in his seventh and sixth season. So that is that's horrible right there for your seventh and sixth season. Um, and then you compare it to. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to say some of these these names to you guys, but 
you, I had to do this just to do some research and stuff. You compare it to um, Kerry Williams' uh, pass defended when he was on our team. He only had nine passes defended in 2014. Nine passes defended in 2014. Compared to 21 and 12. Leonis McKelvin last year, he had 16 passes defended, which is not that bad. But quarterbacks were also going at him a lot. Like quarterbacks were just throwing at him every Every, every time they got the chance to, because I knew that he was weak at that position. And so, and then, like, Jalen Mills is a guy that's really, really good for us. You know, he's growing. He looks already a lot better. He only had seven passes defended last year, but that's splitting time, really, with McKelvin and Carroll. So I see those numbers going up. I see uh, Jalen Mills rising up this year, honestly. Jalen Mills looks amazing so far. He just looks like a whole different um, guy, like, out there. You know, he's he looks more comfortable with everything in the in the defense, my bad. He looks more comfortable with everything. He looks more comfortable with the safeties. He looks more comfortable with tackling. He looks more comfortable with just backpedaling and, you know, observing, analyzing what the play is going to be in that split second, you know, play awareness. So you look at Darby right here and um, a guy also that's that's very, very, very solid at tackling on the edge, kind of just like Corey Graham in a way, but even, even like this guy's really young, so he has that upside. He is ready to get better. He's constant. As we're as I'm making this video, he's just he's getting better. Like these young guys in the NFL, they just they get better at a really quick rate. And some of them, they some of them who don't work hard enough, they're just gonna they just fall straight down and then they just lose their career. But some guys like this, they go up, up, up until they're a Pro Bowler. And so, really, this guy's gonna work hard, you know, for us. He 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 brings a good uh, balance to our team. Like we really. We had a good defense. We just didn't really have corners. So now we have not only have corners, we have young corners that it's okay if they make a mistake. It's okay if they make a little bit of mistakes here because they can learn. And then when they learn from that, they will grow. And when they grow from that, they will put it into action into the next game, into the next week. And then they will get that pick or get that pick six or pass defended on fourth down or third down when it's important. So Ronald Darby, he's also a really, 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 really fast guy. Um, he could probably stay with a lot of receivers in the NFL. You know, and uh, I don't know. I'm I'm really I'm really liking this trade right here. You, you know, right here it says the 2015 NFL Draft. Darby was not viewed as the best cornerback in the class. However, that's exactly what he turned out to be in his rookie season. Darby didn't impress in the preseason, but he turned out he turned it around immediately for the start of the regular season, excelling from day one to become the best coverage player on the Bills defense. And so then you look at this. It says LaShawn McCoy really thought that Ronald Darby should have made the Pro Bowl. Um, G Incognito and Ronald Darby put together outstanding first seasons with the Bills and very likely could have been Pro Bowl selections. Uh, yeah, you know. So, I mean, this kind of can be kind of maybe bullshit, but still it's like they're – I don't think that's that's false news. Like, I think uh, he did put up a really great campaign his rookie season. Yeah. So yeah, Howie Roseman met 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 the media at the at the Novacare Complex. Most of you probably saw. Um, yeah. Really, uh, this is this is a, this is gonna be a great great thing for us if uh, these guys can grow together, these corners can grow together, these corners can get that. Uh, that learning progress, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be, it's going to be really good. Um, my, I made a really, really uh, quick video, like right when I found out about the news and the, my camera was kind of fucked up. So it's kind of like sideways. I was just so excited. I had so much adrenaline running through my body, you know, um, really like I, w I had more adrenaline from the Ezekiel Elliott thing. And then once I found out that news, it just filtered into like, m like me, my reaction about the, Jordan Matthews thing, and when I look back at it, I'm actually kind of, I, I kind of miss Jordan Matthews already, but at the same time, just looking at our corners the past few seasons, and looking even looking at our receivers the past few seasons, this move, there's no way this move, I think, can be bad for us in the long run. I really don't think it can. Um, it gives us more options. Like before, it was Mills, Douglas, and Sidney Jones. And we were hoping that we strike gold on one of them. You know, we were hoping that we strike gold on at least just one of them. We just need one of them to become a very good corner in the NFL. But now you add Sidney, Mills, Douglas, 
and Darby. And in less than a year, you see the Eagles cornerback group go from McKelvin and Carroll, two veterans who suck, to guys the age 23, 24, 25 years old that are already better than those guys, have more upside. And not only that, not only are they better, they're still getting better. So they can be really, really better than those guys. So, man, this can be a great thing for the Eagles. I've been seeing some videos about some excited Eagles fans putting out videos about making the playoffs and winning the division, all that kind of cool talks. And that's actually very – that's that, that can very well happen, you know. I mean, with this balance to our roster, Darby is automatically going to be the number one starting cornerback on our team right now, number one starting guy. He's 23 years old. Mills will probably be behind him. They'll probably put keep Brooks in the slot, who's actually not been doing a bad job at all. And um, you know, Darby, I'm I'm really excited for him, man. I am honestly I'm excited. It's been a while since we had a young corner, stud corner like this. Um, I actually I've I, I've watched him over the past few seasons even, and I remember against uh, we played the Bills. He was he was breaking up passes and making good tackles against us, and. Um, it was honestly, he was one of those guys that was pissing me off. And like, since then I've known his name, I've, his name has stuck in my head. I mean, uh, I'm just, I'm an NFL fan too. So I just look around the, the league and like to look at different players and their stats and how they do and just watch like red zone and watch like different teams and stuff. So I've known Darby for a good amount of time. And like when, when I hear his name, I think like, I just think that he's really good. I mean, like, it's just. He has a lot of work to do, obviously, but we'll see. I, I mean, I think this is a great trade for us, you know. But anyways, have a Kelly Green Wings type weekend. Peace out.